Hello, my friends, and welcome to a Friday stream. Let's freaking go, right? Today is more Subnautica, and I have to tell you guys, I got a little bit more organized last night. Um, I had some time <clears throat> to go through and look at all of the items I was... was bothering a lot of people, so... Hey, welcome in extreme. Um, Friday, can't wait to see what you did. Yeah, it'll be, uh, I don't know. You guys can feel free to critique it. It is, uh, totally fine. I will say I learned some things about the game that I didn't know by, uh, doing all this stuff last night. So I'm addicted. Oh, me too. Don't even worry about it. Me too. Um, but yeah, I just, it was bothering me and it was bothering you guys while watching that I didn't know where my stuff was in the Cyclops. So it needed to be done. Um, I also did some mining for uh, minerals that were nearby. Not the ones on the island since I did that yesterday. Um, but yeah, I just didn't want to have like a mining stream today. So I was hoping we could actually do some productive things as in maybe making some upgrades or exploring some more. I don't know. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and get into it and I'll show you guys what I did. Cove tree base? I would love to do that, actually. I really would. I learned, though, um, how quickly the Cyclops power drains. Uh, I have to go now? Wait. <laughs> Is it something I said? Yeah, the, the Cyclops drains power pretty dang quick, especially when you don't realize, like, you're a noob to this player, to this game. You're a noob player, and you start fabricating things like crazy inside the Cyclops. That's I made that mistake last night, but I didn't realize until it was like I didn't check the power level on the Cyclops until it was like nearly drained. So I went and made a power cell real quick just to keep it afloat. But um, also it moved on me. I did not pilot the sub at all, but it surfaced and moved closer towards the island. Hey, welcome in Clueless. Can't stay long, but I'm here for now. Oh, well, I appreciate you stopping in either way. All right, so here we go. Uh, we'll start, I guess, top to bottom. Okay, so we got, you know, the fabricators right there. Um, I added a battery charger, which I realize is a bad idea. Um, so I will move this somewhere else, but I have a batteries thing. Um, so there's that, okay. Didn't get the power cell charger yet. I didn't know. Might want to get that to recharge the cells rather than making more. Yeah, I, I don't know where the heck that thing's at. I have provisions. So for the extra like water and stuff that I have stored, I put that right next to the sub. That way, um, when I go to leave, you know, it's right there. We've got tools. So some of the things that you can make and you can see I was I was uh, gathering some resources. That's why my inventory looks the way it does. Um, and then I've got a power cell. Um, box as well. There are three power cells. They're all dead, though, unfortunately. Well, that's that. Um, I tried building a bed, too, just to see what that looked like, but it actually hangs out, like, all the way over here in the hallway. <laughs> so I ended up deconstructing it. Uh, so then, yeah, here's the storage down here now. Um, so these still don't... Obviously, these don't have editable uh, text on them. But uh, this is titanium now. You got magnetite, miscellaneous, the stuff that I didn't know what else to do with. Uh, ruby, uranite, diamond, lithium, gold, lead, silver, copper. So what do we think? Now I can find things quite easily. And not all of them are that empty. I mean, some of them have more stuff in them, like, like lithium. I mean, totally full. Diamond, pretty dang full. Uh, quartz. Got a decent amount, so <laughs> OCD is happy. Yeah, same. I feel a lot better about it. And then things that I didn't really know, like stalker teeth are all in one. Uh, I had one random gas pod, one piece of air gel, my creature egg, uh, and then some salt. So all that stuff is separate now. Um, oh, there's one other thing I forgot. Very important. Right over here. There's one for quest items. Although it's kind of finicky, so I might have to move it. But I got some ion cubes and some tablets in there. But if there's ever anything else that I feel like is related to quests. 
you know, we can do that. So yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. We got a lot of titanium stored up too last night. So it turned out pretty well, I thought. Um I'm pretty sure I've been to all of these beacons now. I could definitely build a base down in the Lost River. I could definitely do that. Thing empty. Yeah. Um, well, and then, uh, I don't remember exactly what all I was, le uh, I left in the moon pool. But let's go take a look at the moon pool. I'm pretty sure the moon pool, I was just, <clears throat> just leaving it the way it is for charging, you know, the, the things. Remember the time I put power cell chargers in the Cyclops thinking I made an infinite power glitch? It didn't work. No, it did not. Yeah, and I found that out too by putting my battery charger on there. I got all my batteries charged and then I looked at the Cyclops power and I was like, oh no, <laughs> no. So all my collectibles are right here. Oh, what? What? I didn't know this kind of thing could happen. Never actually seen a, a, a true breach. Um, my grow bed, I was in the middle of deconstructing it. But I, my uh, inventory was too full, so and that's good now. Um, and I don't know that the bioreactor is ever going to run out now. I don't know that it's ever going to get drained enough to be totally gone. I was going to deconstruct that as well, so. Might want a seed vault. Ooh, I don't have that. At least I don't think so. Um, it'd be, I guess, a interior module. Uh, seed vault. Yeah, I don't see that. Hmm. I am going to add a picture frame at some point. It isn't a thing. I just mean a storage locker with seeds. Oh, okay. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Seeds, huh? That makes sense. I do have, uh, I do have some seeds in my miscellaneous, actually. So I could just change that one into a seed box. Um, well, I don't have my repair tool on me, so I'll have to go get that. My legs are missing from my base, so it's just floating. Yeah, I'm super confused, though. Like, if it was just a glitch that my Cyclops ended up surfacing and moving forward, or if a Warper can do that, I have no idea. Shrooms, vines, etc., and a new base. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I will take all of this stuff. Well, maybe not all of it. I might leave the moon pool with the um, thing on it, the solar panel. Are there floaters on my Cyclops? No, they're all in my, um, they're all in that moon pool down there. So I'll need to get some of those added. Yeah, so I've got one uh, acid mushroom spore, but I can definitely chop up all the other stuff in my outdoor grow bed. <clears throat> Um, but yeah. You can see my uh, Cyclops power, though, is not doing so hot. 207. <laughs> Out of 800. Not doing so great. I struggle many times with mystery floaters in my vehicles, wondering why I'm lopsided. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, there aren't any floaters on board. If I attached a bunch of floaters, would it just float to the top? In theory, it would. Um, I also was keeping the lighting off. I didn't know if that drained the power faster, but... Outside. What's outside? The floaters? I don't think I have any on my... Like, seriously, I don't think I have any on me. I didn't put them there if, I, if they are. And you guys know, I purposely put floaters where I want them. Yeah, I don't see any. Oh. I'm not seeing any. Hmm. They were on the outside from when I brushed against them. Huh. Interesting. That's pretty cool. 
I mean, cool that they can do that. It's not cool that, you know, that happened. Okay. Um, so let's make a list of things I need for the, the new base. All right. Acid mushroom. Okay. Gel sack. How big are those seeds? Oh, those are small. Okay. Did I seriously get three? It's such a strange number when the grow bed uses four. They just tagging along for the journey, right? Okay. We got four gel sack seeds, four acid mushroom spores. Uh, blood vines. Yeah, the blood oil just takes up. Look at that. It's it's way smaller than a mushroom. You guys see how giant these butthole mushrooms are. And the blood oil takes up four? I just don't get that. I don't get that. Seeds, power cell recharger, maybe some stuff for the prawn to get the big chunks of stuff deep down. True. True, true, true. All right, how are we doing on space? Not good. Let's throw this in. Uh, hey, how's it going, Vice Spike Vice? Good afternoon, morning. Same to you, my friend. How's your day thus far? We got all organized, so don't worry. Um, I'm still not sure, though, if lights drain this thing or not. Let's use this as seeds. So we'll, we'll put uh, all the spores and stuff in here. All right, and then let me take everything else out. Mainly table coral. So we'll store those in some of these random lockers here. Fiber mesh, silicone. Yeah, we'll just put basically everything that I don't know how much I need. Pretty busy day, but got some free time now. There you go. That's good to hear. Um, stuff I might use for crafting, I can put in here. You guys hear that? What's that sound? Something hitting me? My health looks good. Oh, maybe it's just the waves. Bone shark wants attention? That could be. That very well could be. All right, it should be good with one blood oil, right? Maybe a creep vine cluster. Can you grow creep vine? I'm thinking you can. Yeah, so I'll just throw out the other one. Uh, so let's call this one seeds. Hey, welcome in, Moe. How you doing today? You can, just like the bloodvine. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you, guys. I will do that then. So what do you guys think? Is that... Is that good? Should I... Did I... I mean, I don't know. Should I take the membrane tree stuff, too? I kind of like having the pretty stuff, as well as the... Even though it's not really functional. The jelly shrooms are so nice to look at. The membrane trees are, like... Kind of make me think of the... Uh, like, Japanese cherry blossoms a little bit. So... Looks Gucci. It's looking a lot better for sure. For sure. Yeah, I think I'm... I don't know. I'm going to take one. Why not? Let's take them. I'll take them. They're just so nice to look at. And this base is going to look beautiful. Are you ready? Welcome in. Hello to you. How's your day going this far? All right, that is pretty full. I could hold like one more, but I don't actually have another seed. So, okay. Wow. Um, so we've got a lot of different stuff. Um, I could also, I, I think I'm going to dock my Seamoth. So I don't really know what to do with the prawn suit, to be honest with you guys. Not bad, thanks, and you? I, I'm doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Thanks for asking.
Should I leave the prawn in this moon pool? I'll need to bring the prawn down eventually, but I don't have the upgrades necessary to make it really, uh, really good. So I could do some exploring before I go down there, I suppose. My Seamoth is actually pretty legit now. It can go 900 meters. So I'm kind of excited about that. Hmm. Also, I probably need to get the repair tool. Let me fix this. Yeah, see here are all the floaters. They're all in here. I'll need some floaters for the other base, but, you know. We can cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, this thing's getting a little bit close to, to Reaper territory, I think. I feel like it's... I don't know. Sort of drifting that way. I suggest looking around the Blood Kelp Zone for wreckages. Okay. I will do that. I, I actually was... That's where I was harvesting my... Uh, Titanium last night. Um, at least in one zone. Uh, let me grab this t repair tool. Repair, man, 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 man. And we'll dock Spanky inside of uh, Spank Daddy. Since that one's going to be a little bit better for exploration. Actually, do I, I mean, I don't really even need to dock it in there at all right now. I'm not I'm not going to move the Cyclops for the time being. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right. Repair tool. Oh, like it never happened. Like it never happened. How was I, I? I forget how to see the structural integrity. That was somewhere, right? I think it's probably fine now. I think it's probably close to 10. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe a thermal reactor module for the Cyclops. I do need that. I don't know where that's at. I don't have one. I was actually looking at my blueprints last night for Cyclops upgrades. Yeah. Don't have one. Man, such a cool vessel, though, right? If only I could use it properly. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Let's go look in the Blood Kelp Zone, and then, uh, well, actually, before I do that, I haven't... I should probably get all my stuff, you know? I haven't tried the defense system, no. Nope. Um, I could make that as well. I could. How many marble... Oh, shoot, I got a ton of marble melons. Uh, you ha already had it, right? Thought it was equipped. The defense system? No, the ones I have, I have a depth module. Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot. I built, I did build that one. I was thinking for, um, uh, I think I was thinking hull reinforcement. So, yes, you are correct. <laughs> you are correct. I built that one last time. Totally misunderstood you there. Sorry about that. All right. Yeah, let's go hit up the Blood Kelp Zone. Sounds good. Sounds good. Man, this is extreme darkness. Advanced darkness. It's a cool blast you can shoot, get against warpers and stuff. So what... What is the key binding for this? Do I have to do that? I have to equip it? I think it's equipped now. And then I probably just have to right click, I guess. I don't want to just waste it on nothing. 
but uh, I do kind of want to test it out. All right, so I, I've been over here, but it was when I was a, a totally noob player, so it's entirely possible that I missed a lot of stuff. Uh, there were a lot of fragments laying around, uh, but they were ones I had gotten recipes for, so I kind of just left them. Yeah, get wrecked, Mr. Biter. All right. And I'm like, it's rechargeable, doesn't take long. Okay, just use some energy with a cooldown so you can test it. Let's, all right, let's see it. I like it. It's a pretty fast one, too. I think you need the deep down, Rex. Okay, okay. All right. Well, this one shouldn't take me too long to explore, so let me go ahead and do that just real fast. And then, uh, I don't think I brought my laser cutter, although I thought I cut into this before. I thought I did. Get away, sand shark. Probably should repair this sea moth, though. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure I went in there. Oh, but that door is closed. So maybe I did not. Let me hit up some repairs real quick. And I did not bring the laser cutter, so I guess that door is not accessible. Light stick fragment, which I already have. You can also get out of a reaper's attack if you get grabbed with it. Oh, that sounds amazing. So far, I've not encountered a reaper in my Seamoth. Well, at least not where they've been able to grab me. I got away from them. Peak plant pot. I don't have that. How did I miss that? Look, I mean, you can see I scanned other things in here. Apparently, I thought that was the same thing as before. Wish I could take those. Open this door. But also, is there something out here? Huh? What's this? Scanner room fragment? Yeah. Already got that. Jesus! And came out of nowhere. I didn't even hear it at all. Definitely opened this door before, so I don't know who closed it. it wasn't me. Laser cutter fragment. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. See, there's the hole I cut in. Oh, here's a poster. I missed that the first time. Oh, look at this. Oh, I need the propulsion cannon, don't I? That looks like somewhere I should be able to go. Maybe it's not, though. I do need to work on that, though. I have a, I have the propulsion cannon, but it's not... I think it's in the... Uh, I think it's in the other thing. Uh, actually, that's not even going to help, is it? No, it's not. That door is just a tease. I don't think you can get there, no. It's a tease. Such a tease. You can't even go any further in here. Um, I went down here once. I'll do it again, though. Do it again here in just a sec. I, mean, I just want to get a little closer. Get full O2. This high capacity tank is amazing. I'll go this way as well. I remember I almost got lost in here. Oh, wait. Nope, this is a different wreck. Okay. Different wreck. Okay. Do another check in here. 
Is this thing sealed? Battery charger fragment. Okay. Yeah, too bad it's not the power cell fragment. I mean, I'll still scan it, I guess. Might as well. Clean it up so I don't... If I ever did come back, I don't worry about it. Uh, apparently, that's not a fragment. Mod station fragment, which I already have. They really... There are certain things that they really want to make sure that you find. Which is good. They just give you a hundred opportunities. Whereas, like, the power cell... Maybe I'm just missing all a hundred of them, but I have not seen very many at all. Seen one, actually, in fact. Just one. And you have this, right? Yeah. Okay, um, yeah. So I need a deep down wreck. A deep down wreckage. Let's also... Check you get in that door. Also, look at my shadow. I just think you need to get down deeper and find wrecks like the blood kelp zone or similar. Okay, so then I I thought that this red stuff was blood kelp, but this isn't blood kelp. So if that's the case, I was just misunderstanding you. Is that down here? Is this blood kelp? This is like a mushroom, mushroomy area. Blood Kelp is the area before the Lost River, the darker one. Oh, okay. All right. Do you think there's anything in here for me then? I remember this is where I met the Shocky Boy up here. Whoa. Whoa. That dude was hauling some serious ace. Scary equals good. That's true. What is going on? Things just exploding all over the place here? Away from me. Okay, well. I suppose we'll head there then. I mean, I need to go back there anyway. Have I been over here though? It's like there's a wreck right over there, unless that was just a graphical issue. Yeah, this is a wreck I don't think I've scanned. Oh, wait, no. I might have, actually. I might have. Yeah, see that? That guy's open right there. Okay. Oh, but did I go in here? Could I go in here is the question with the sea moth. I think this music might be my favorite. This one that's playing right now. There's a mesmer. Okay. All right, let me get out of this maze here. Probably not a good idea bringing the uh, sea moth in there. Wait till you hear the end credits. Oh, gosh. I might have already heard it. I've actually been listening to the soundtrack because it's really freaking good. I just like these glowy balls. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I was over here. This life pod right here. Yeah, I remember this. Okay. Yeah, I had to park my Seamoth way up there because it wasn't able to go deep enough at the time. But now it's got 900 meters depth, baby. All right, let's turn on used life pod. Because that is going to give me a little bit of some help as far as location. So is that your favorite? Dice is... is oh. Okay. 
Is are the end credit music? Is the end credit music your favorite? Just go here in this little ravine. Some shale. What are the odds we come upon something extremely cool? Just just sea mothing along the seafloor. More funny than good? Okay, I gotcha. You'll understand when you hear it. Okay. I'm glad you have faith in me that I'm going to get to that point. I mean, I am, but... I posted a video on YouTube and, and uh... Somebody was saying, like, don't... Oh! Reapy boy! That was a reapy boy. Um, well... Might want to bring the laser cutter. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Maybe I should go back to Spank Daddy real fast. Also, um... Oh, okay. Yeah, I know exactly where I'm at now. Yeah, I knew Reapers were over there. I was like, wait a minute. What have I stumbled upon over here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on the other side of the island. The dwarves, they dug too deep and too fast. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? <laughs> no. I'm not. <laughs> to be honest. Man, this freaking green screen, I'm telling you. Most famous PDA line in the game. It is, yeah, it's pretty great. Pretty great. Let's hit this guy up with some repairs. And uh, we're going to grab the laser cutter. Did I did I pick up anything? Just some titanium. Oh, and a poster. Yeah, yeah, I need to go plant those. Was there anything in the sea moth, though? No, perfect. Welcome up. All right. I actually can't even store the titanium. This area is too full. So, I don't know. I don't know. I could put it in the uh, sea moth for building some stuff. Building some stuff later. Uh, I'm going to want to build a moon pool. Uh, the moon pool costs what exactly? Two titanium ingots, uh, lube, two leads. Okay. Okay. Laser cutter, got it. Let's grab the stasis rifle as well. I keep forgetting to dump this uh, creep vine cluster. I don't need it. I don't need it. I think the blood kelp zone is all around the edge of the outer map, so I might want to bring some extra food and water. Oh, good point. Good point. I almost died down there before. Maybe I don't need to bring all of it, but maybe I do. Is there room for one more poster? Yes. <laughs> it was the poster I already had. <laughs> it was too dark for me to see. Oh, well, that's that's good. It's a really good idea. Isn't all the way on the outer rim, though. Other zones as well. Gotcha. Goucha, goucha. Let me uh let me drop this uh let me drop this other garbage here. Let me drop this. Uh I'm gonna store all this titanium in the sea moth. Um What else? I I'm gonna wanna build that, so maybe some lead. Um I could I could take the fabricator out of this cyclops, so that way I know I've got everything for the fabricator. Um Hmm. High energy and st structural requirements. So is that thing just going to totally collapse? Lithium and three titaniums? Yeah, I'm going to need a lot of titanium. But 
Oh, and I actually can't even plant the moon pool that deep because it's just over 900 meters uh, right by that tree. Right by that tree. It's over 900. It's over 900. What? 900? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I also have enough to build that as well. I have plenty of that stuff. Plenty of that stuff. The other thing I would need is the, uh, at the very least, I would need a uh, solar panel thing. Yeah, this guy. Two quartz, two titanium, and a copper. Mm-hmm. I believe you can anchor it on the ca uh, to the cave roof as well. Really now? Huh. Solar won't help you at 900? Okay. Okay. So I got to figure out... Uh, I, I guess I got to do the thermal plant. Which I've got the stuff for. I've got the stuff for that. I think I'm going to have to go down there without the Cyclops the first time, though. The Cyclops just has no energy left. It's just... It's really dying here. It's really dying. My inventory is too full to grab a marble melon. All right, let's freaking dump this thing. I don't need another one. Okay, got to get my thirst and stuff under control before I leave. Got the laser cutter, right? Got a bunch of titanium I'm going to throw into the sea moth. Probably should have done that first. Gotta leave, what, four of these guys? Uh, I've got five currently. Okay. one extra seat. I don't know how this got so off, but Cyclops is more of a I'm going to move all my stuff to my next base kind of vehicle. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense to me. I was hoping though since I've got I've got a bunch of crap in here, I could bring it a little bit closer to the um that cove tree that we're going to build a base at. But it's fine. Huh? Let me jump down here. Nope. Okay. Be cool. I would love that. All right, so let's do... Should I start with a moon pool? Uh, two titanium ingots, lubricant, and two leads. So... Two titanium ingots. Um, lead. Was it two leads? Yep, and a lube. A lube, which I just dropped a se uh, that seed cluster. I just dropped it. <laughs> What's going on, Phil? Uh, well. That's fine. It's totally fine. I don't want to use the fabricator here anyway, to be honest with you. Alright, let's dock Spanky so we can get him loaded up. I mean, I guess I can just do this anyway. I'll put the marble melons, marble melon seed away. Cool, you organized everything? I did, I did. It needed to be done. It really needed to be done, didn't it? I put a creep vine in there? I did, okay. I did. I think I'm gonna take I can take the fabricator. 
Um, I just gotta fit. I gotta get the lubricant. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna equip the habitat builder. Deconstruct the fabricator. So it's not killing all of my energy here. Deconstruct this battery charger. Okay. Um. Yeah. Those are the big, the main culprits here. Main culprits. So we're gonna go build. I'm gonna build the these in the uh, moon pool. Or at least in this base. This base has a bioreactor attached with several oculus inside. So it's not going to run out of power anytime super soon. Well, if it's not in use, it won't drain power, though. True, but I do need it right now, unfortunately. Um, there's a chic pot plant. Upmarket pot. <laughs> I think I'm using a basic plant pot in mine. That's kind of funny. You get this guy made here. I, I guess I'll go ahead and make the battery um, charger again. Yeah, I cha I, cha I charged a few batteries last night, not knowing like, oh yeah, this is gonna super drain. I didn't realize, I guess that, oh, that's that's gonna drain. Again, just noob moves, so. Uh, but for now, that's fine. Uh, let me go get some uh, cluster. Since I just dropped my last one. I did get all my batteries charged, though, so that was good. That was good. I had, like, five batteries that were dying. <laughs> oh. It's pretty cool, because we can... Uh, we can land on... Hang on. Give me the... Give me the cluster. There we go. You know, we can land on an alien world, but we can't make a battery last longer than, like, 30 minutes. Chargers take a lot of power from a Cyclops, you better have them in your base. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I found out the hard way last night. Unfortunately, but... It's a good... It was a good learning experience, you know? Something I gotta learn. Alright, give me the lube! All right, I think I should have everything now to build a moon pool. Um, yes. Now, a thermal reactor, or thermal plant, I mean, thermal plant. But I'm gonna need another place to put that, maybe in the multi-purpose room. Thought I was being smart by recharging my power cells from the Cyclops on the Cyclops itself. Doesn't work, no, you're just eventually gonna run out of everything, right? Yeah, I would have, I would have, honestly, I would have done the same exact thing. 100% would have done the same thing. So, don't feel bad. Um, okay. Let's, let's get inside the Cyclops before I do that. Alright, how many total pieces of titanium? I need, uh, should I, I probably don't need a scanner room just yet. I could build that eventually, but... Uh, we got everything for the moon pool, so let's just put that one out of mind. Multi-purpose is six. Uh, this one is five, so that's 11 pieces of titanium. Um, let me check how many I've got in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Got them all. Okay, so we should be good with that. Um... Probably not the best idea right now, but I'm being lazy. Being lazy, I want to be able to transport all this stuff without leaving this Cyclops. I'll have to go up the ladder, though. Okay, um, and then the last thing were two Magnetites and an Aerogel. I've got, I got those very ready. Two mags, one, two, and an Aerogel is in here. Oop, there we go. Okay. So that can build. Might want a power transmitter or two as well. Okay, power transmitter. Power transmitter. One of these guys. Extends the range of a power source. Oh, really? 
Oh, this is an exterior module. I'm I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I was I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make this inside like I did with the bioreactor. Totally different. Totally different thing. Okay. Good idea. So gold and titanium. Let's let's get two of those. Um I'll grab one more piece of titanium just to be safe. And then uh two pieces of gold. Okay. How's that? What kind of power source are you going to use? Yeah, thermal is what I'm thinking since the, there's all that heat down there. Um, yeah. Is that a good idea? I mean, I've never built one of these before, but there are those, like, the things. You guys know the things, right? All right. So that gives me all the blueprint or all the goods I need for a thermal plant, a power transmitter, Multi-purpose room and a moon pool. Uh, well, actually, two power transmitters. Should I bring my fabricator? I'm thinking yes. I think I should bring a fabricator. Which is just one more titanium, another gold, and a table coral. I think I should bring a fabricator. Definitely might need two or three. Okay. Two or three uh, thermal plants. Was it, did I say gold and, yeah, so another one titanium, one gold, one table coral. Titanium. Table coral and a gold. Okay. Thermal plants, 250 power each. Okay. Um... That's a lot of titanium to bring. I actually don't have any more aerogel. One will get you going though. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Just a starter base. I'll come. I can always come back. That's kind of my thought. Um. Okay. I need the propulsion rifle before I leave. Maybe another battery. Just to be on the safe side. Um. And a beacon possibly. Should I bring a beacon to help me find my way easier? Titanium and a copper ore. I should have the space. I'll bring it just in case, um, but I might not need it. I might not. And then uh, probably, <laughs> probably two more titaniums for well, we'll see. I might, I'm probably gonna need a storage locker at some point, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, I need to get the, uh, propulsion rifle cannon. Propulsion cannon, I believe is in, uh, Lil's bank. All systems online. I'm pretty sure. A little bit of limestone there too. That's true. That's true. I did find some limestone there before. Like we said, we, we're pretty sure there's like just about everything down there. Propulsion cannon. Yeah. Oh, look at all this stuff. There's even more stuff in here. In the prawn suit. There's a fully charged power cell. Huh. I don't know where that came from. And more aerogel. Dang, okay. Am I bringing too much water? Is there such a thing as too much water? Hey, Coleman, how you doing? How's my weekend eve? So far, so good, my friend. How about yours? Uh, creep vine and barely any salt. Oh, that's true. But I'm going to be able to grow my own creep vine. I've got a seed cluster uh, that I can bring down there eventually. Salt, though, that's a different story. But I really don't use salt very often. I don't use a ton. Okay. We are full up on everything. Let's do a save before we do it. Looking forward to spending all weekend playing Valheim again. Ooh, game has taken over my life. Um, my fingers have been hovering over the buy button for a little bit while, a little while now. Actually been considering uh, moving on to that after we've beat Subnautica. Do you think that would be a good idea? 
Game has taken over my life. Is my headlight on? Yeah. I'll turn it off for now. I can't see anything anyway. All right. We're heading back down into the giant hole that is the, the hole. Friends got me playing it yesterday as well. I haven't slept much. Oh, geez. I enjoy it, so it could be good. Would you just do a solo server? I would, yeah. Just since it's difficult to find. Um, the thing is, if I was going to play multiplayer, I would want to um, play it consistently, and it'd be difficult to find that, I think, uh, the time that I stream. Mother freaking bone sharks. Try not to get blasted by some lava, if I can. I remember kind of doing this before. I went into this kind of crater area, and then I had to... I think I had to jump over it. Right? I had to jump over this. Go more over here? I don't remember. I don't actually remember. What's Valheim? Oh, you really don't know? It is a, um, I don't know if you're trolling me, and that's fine if you are, but <laughs> it is a, uh, yeah, this is where I was supposed to go. Um, it, it's basically like a survival game, but set in, like, Viking Norse type, um, setting. It looks really cool. Um, it, it's, you know, honestly... Probably not that much different from, like, from Subnautica in terms of, like, you know, it's a survival game, um, just a different, different, uh, skin to it, you know? You're not underwater and stuff. I don't know, it's one of those, I mean, a lot of survi the survival games have a lot of similar, uh, similar features, you know? Okay, so this is the Blood Kelp Zone. It's really dark. You guys were telling me it's dark. I've uh, really been liking the sailing in it. Okay. Let me ask you, Coleman. Have you ever played Sea of Thieves? No, he's not going to like me, is he? Is he doing it? Oh, okay. 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 We're just going to... We're ignoring, ignoring you, ghosty boy. We're not... We don't have anything to do with you. Except... What is this? What on earth is this? Am I pretty well hidden right here? I did not find this before. Also a, uh, built a big old lighthouse? That sounds awesome. Oh, this is dry land? What? Where the heck am I? Wanted to try it out, though. Oh, man. Sailing in that game is so much freaking fun. Of course, I mean, that's one of my favorite games right now. Um, has been for the last couple years. Just really, really enjoy it. Check it out. I'm going to extreme. I absolutely am going to. Probably going to find uh, something real scary in here, aren't I? This is actually dry land. 625 meters down below sea level. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Hashtag save. Yeah, exactly. You know. <laughs> You know how it goes. Oh, it's a warp gate area. Oh, man. I didn't bring an ion cube. Actually, would it even mattered? I don't see a console here. Okay, I wonder which warp gate this is attached to. Is it the one close to my base? My current base? The one that's underwater? I actually have not powered that one up. Hmm. That would be interessante, wouldn't it? Can I touch this? Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't recommend. No, I'm going to have to, though. <laughs> or wait, can I jump my way up? Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh, all right. This is actually where I build another base. I was like, ooh, hidden waterfall entrance. Got a build here. It is pretty sweet. I know very little about the warp gates. 
Yeah, fair enough. I do too, honestly. Um, I, I made, uh, or I activated one and that's it. Well, yeah, that is really cool. Um, so that's easy. Just find the ghosty boy and then find the waterfall near the ghosty boy. And then you've got your, uh, hidden, uh, hidden entrance. Okay. If possible, try not to die. Okay. Also, other thing I should do is repair. And then when I came back with resources, I couldn't find it for like half an hour. <laughs> warp gains, warp gates are a thing at the very end of the game. Okay. Oh, he found me. Oh, come on, man. You're too big to fit through there. Yeah, he made me damage my hole. I don't know if the perimeter defense system is enough to hold off one of those guys. I didn't want to test it to find out. Will you just go away? My headlight's not even on. Does he also use sonar? I feel like he's going to clip through the tree and I'm going to be goner. I saved it recently, so I don't feel too bad. Uh. Okay. I think we're out of his hunting grounds, possibly. That's a dead end. Hmm. Yeah, this music's really good, too. Yeah, I think we're getting close to it. The place, the zone. With the tree, with, with the thing. I think. Getting close to max depth as well. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. So wasn't there... Was there a... Uh, Hmm. Wasn't there a different creature down here? Oh, there it is. Found it. Yeah, I just want to live over here. I mean, you guys don't you guys don't blame me, right? I want to live here. Yeah, why didn't I think of that earlier? Why didn't I? Oh, because I was in the prawn suit. Duh. I want to build my base on this roof. Is that possible? Or is there some sort of alcove in here with a bottom? And let's find out. Put the habitat builder, which is right here. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to, oh, uh-oh. Wasn't really thinking, was I? I'm not gonna be able to transfer stuff in my inventory. It's too full. I'm gonna have to just drop stuff. Okay. On the roof. Yeah. Well, didn't somebody say I could? Uh, I could do that. Drink. Yeah, I do need to drink. Um. Can you make a fabricator just out in the water? I assume not. Yeah, I'll have to drop some stuff and pick it back up. Okay, that's fine. You can swap stuff, just drag and click. Oh, okay, never tried that. How are you gonna get a prawn suit and a moon pool on the roof? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, let me have a let me have a drink. That'll give me some space anyway. I need it. I needed the water. So it'll be all right. Um, okay. Moon pool. Did I need more? I need the lubricant. No, I got the lubricant. I need the ingot. That's what I need. And the lead. Uh, two ingots and one more lead. Okay. Ingot. And let's just swap the gold. Grab the lead. Okay. 
Moon pool. I mean, I could put it more over here. But also, if I get the depth module for my prawn suit, it won't matter. Like, I can I can get it over here. You know? Two moon pools, perhaps? Issue for another time, true. I can always deconstruct. <laughs> Total now 1.3. Well, I'm going to have to build some... Uh, uh, reinforcements on that, I think. Okay. What actually... It, it's not really connected to anything. That's probably why. Maybe I should put it up higher. Why not on the floor exactly? Uh, Because my... The depth is going to be too much. I'm not actually going to be able to take my... Steam off down there. I don't know. How long, are the, how long can the legs be on this thing? I mean, if it can get... If the legs can get me, like, right here, you know, that'd be fine. But it's, like, just over 900 meters. It's, like, 904, you know? It's just maybe the edge of the blue and green area, like, right up here. I mean, I could put the moon pool there and then build the base downwards, I guess, if I make a massive base. I suppose I could do that. Yeah. How long can the moon pool legs be? Well, let's find this out, too. I'm kind of curious. Because myself, I can obviously go down below 900 meters. So we can kind of test this out. I would want to bring probably not any lower than this. Not the scanner room, dang it. Moon pool. Oh, oh, look at that. What's the integrity right here? One. <laughs> yeah, so those legs get pretty long. Or one leg, I guess. That's probably why. I don't think the Seamoth is really handy down here anyway, except for the Lost River. Okay. That's fair enough. There's more heat over here, though. That's kind of what I was thinking. I don't know how long those power transmitters reach. It had less integrity with one leg than none. Yes, very strange. <laughs> Quite strange. Could I jump a prawn suit this high? Probably not. All right. All right, that's fine. We can have, like, beachfront property instead of, you know. Also, I don't like the rotation in this game. Can I... Can I not rotate this? I guess I just have to swim around. See how this goes. Yeah, the scrolling wasn't working. Okay, so three legs still has 1.2. So three legs is still worse than zero for some odd reason. I also don't know if the... Will it fit under there? I guess from this side it will. I don't know. I'm, I'm tempted to just build it on the roof. It's kind of cool. Integrity is all death related. Gotcha, okay. So this was slightly slightly less deep over here. That's why. Makes sense. So I'm curious now how much power that thermal reactor or the thermal um, thing is going to get. If it's over here versus by the actual, like, steamy area. I 
All right, exterior module, thermal plant. I need uh, some titanium. Titanium. Okay. Uh, let's do, I'm gonna do a little testing here cause I, I don't actually know. So a power transmitter, I can probably put that just like right on this guy here or no. It needs to be one on top and then another one somewhere else is my assumption. That's how I figured they would work. Okay. There's a power transmitter there. All right. I have enough for one. Other one? Two other ones? Actually, don't know. Um, there's like a volcano thingy over here. Actually, did I even? I don't even. Have, I need the other titanium. More like a wire that extends the area between the thermal plant and base. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, and that makes sense. I just didn't know how far it reached. You know. I can always just test a few areas out. I always test a few. <clears throat> You'll see when you plant the thermal plant. Ah, okay. Let's do that. What happens if I put it right here? Yellow? Is that like how much heat it can get versus green I have seen a handful of bladder fish down here so that's good yeah this one's green okay what's the furthest away I can put it and still have it be green mm, looks like right here yellow green okay Place it near a volcano, though. Yeah, what do you guys think? Right here? Would that be good? The closer, the better. Hey, what's going on, Ono? Welcome back in. Ah, oh, okay. It has an actual... Yeah, all right. 37 degrees. Okay. So I planted this. Is this getting any power yet? Can always move it later. Sure enough. That's kind of my thought, too. All right. This guy got any power yet? Doesn't look like it. Emergency power only. Okay. Oxygen production offline. Okay. Let me get some oxygen. Welcome aboard, Captain. You'll need a lot of power transmitters with that distance. Oh, geez. Okay. All right. Yep. Considering moving the moon pool, then putting it on the wall over here. Thinking about it pretty heavily. Kind of like that idea. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. I got to take the power transmitter first, though. Okay. I am also really glad we, we got the upgraded tank. It is super handy. Let's not leave the sea moth over here for no reason. I just want to wake up every day and see this lovely tree. That's all I want. That's all I want. You know? Is that so much to ask? Maybe just place it on the floor anyway and leave your Seamoth up there. You can repair it there and replace power cells from the charger once you get it. True. True, I could. But I'm also kind of stubborn. You know? Maybe this isn't, uh, there isn't enough attachment here. I thought there might be. Yeah, I guess not. Okay. That other one was, I thought, less attached than this. When it was over there. 
I don't know what the difference is. Unless I'm just too close. Oh. Oh. I guess I was in the wrong position. As you can see, pretty stubborn. Let's just build it here. Overlap with my character. 1.2. About the same as it was before. Okay. So now that's considerably closer. Probably still doesn't have power yet. Warning. Nope. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Okay. Make a power transmitter. And exterior module. Power transmitter. Can I put it on the wall? No. Oh, I can. Just kind of finicky. Mm hmm. Hmm. I can make two of these. So let me put one kind of close to the the thermal. All right. How do I know if it's getting power? Is there a way to tell? Is it? I mean, it's kind of lighting up, but I don't know if that's actually doing anything. Closer to the plant, you will see a wire if it works. Oh, geez. Okay. Hey, what's going on, Nest? How you doing, man? Welcome in, dude. <laughs> and cheers. Oh, running low. Cheers to you, Nostalius. Thank you so much for the hundred gold coins yet again, my man. Cheers to you. How's your Friday treating you thus far? All right, let's make, let's see if we get the wire thing. Ah, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. This does not extend very far at all. Not at all. Okay. That makes a lot more sense now. And this is too deep. Yep. Okay. So question is, how do I get, I mean, I guess I can make the thermal plant. Way more transmitters? Yeah, that's like 10 feet, you know? That's more, it's more than that, but, but not much. Well, gotta lurk you though, keep my ears happy. My, I will do my absolute best. I will do my absolute best. Glad you're doing good though. Dang, that's a little bit of a bummer that it's not gonna be able to reach. But again, as you said, the moon pool is not super important in this particular area. I'm just stubborn and I, you know, I want to, I want to make my cake and eat it too, you know? So I'll just build everything up here. It'll be all right. It'll be fine. As long as there's enough uh, charge in the moon pool to get my uh, Seamoth to be charged up, it's fine. I just don't want my Seamoth to die down here. You know? Whoa, whoa, you okay? Whoa, whoa. All right, he's all right. Nope, oh, no, he's not. Oh, okay. No, he's good. He's good. All right. We got that. Then again, you know what? It's not right next to it, but there are some more like volcanoes, um, you know, back that way. My inventory is full. Okay. I'm gonna put Spanky all the way over here. Holy crap, does time fly. The hours just melt away when you're playing Subnautica. It's kind of it's kind of scary to be honest. All right, let's store just a bunch of stuff. 
take the seam off over here. I just don't want to swim all the way back this time. Alright. Deconstructing the moon pool. We'll deconstruct the rest of the thermal plant. And I'll just stop being stubborn. I'll plant it. Uh, I'll position it back near another volcano that's not as deep. I'm still close enough to the tree. I'm still close. You know, should be fine. Once I do that, I will need to go find some fishies to chew, chew on. Yeah, there should be some... I thought I remembered some volcanoes in this area. Yeah, there's one right there. That'll be fine. I'll just build right on top of these these bones. No, not literally on top, but like right here. All right. Okay. Am I still? Okay. I knew there was an area where I could actually swim over here. Okay. Um, let's get this moon pool rebuilt. Okay. All right. Still pretty deep under, though. Um, and then let's get this thermal plant ready so that way I don't take a ton of damage. Uh, but I need more titanium. Titanium. Okay. Be careful that it's not hot in the moon pool itself. Oh, I did not consider that. Okay, it probably is. Oh, it seems like I'm shielded from it. Oxygen production offline. Seems like I'm shielded from it. Hopefully I am. Okay, thermal plant. If I put this guy right here. Well. If I could somehow put it on top. I don't know how quickly my health is going to drain. Keeping an eye on it. Should be okay. Is this taking longer than last time? I think it was. Okay. So now the question is, does this thing have power? It's pretty close. I still got to connect a power transmitter. Okay, that's fine. Easy to do. Okay, power transmitter, uh, but I don't have the titanium for it because of course I don't. Okay. Power transmitter, please, please let this work. Gonna need to. Oh, unless I can somehow put it on the side. Nope, I can't. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. One power transmitter. Two power transmitters? Oh, okay, I don't need this one. Power restored. All primary I do have enough for a multi-purpose room. Yeah, that's a good point. I probably could have just, uh, you know, used that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Woo, okay. It's charging up. Charging up. Oh, that's good. That is good. I'm glad that actually kind of works. Let's go park uh, Spanky inside. Welcome aboard, Captain. I need to catch some fish, though, soon. Running a little low on the old food intake. All right. Also need to build some uh, reinforcement, but I didn't. I don't think I brought any lithium with me, so this this might collapse a little bit. <laughs> it might collapse while I'm gone. Um, 
Yeah. Um, can... Yes, I know, I know. What is my actual... 10? Okay, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Um, yeah, let's build this multi-purpose room. Out, get out, get out. Okay, for some reason it's not letting me rotate. Oh! Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. The multi-purpose room was... I had an idea for it, but I don't... I don't remember why. Uh, damage due to weak hull strength? Okay, hang on a second. Yep. Gotta remove that. This is my new spawn point. Oh, nice, nice. Very nice. Okay, I did bring enough for a fabricator as well, so let's maybe do the fabricator. Um, I'll just put that, like, right here. All this stuff's gonna take power, but... Um, I can come and make, uh, waters. Yeah, there's some damage already. Let me go eat the fish. Alright, and that should power up faster now that the sea moth is out of it. All systems online. Okay. To the fishies. Come here. Vital signs stabilizing. Uh, there were several, and now I can't find any. Black Noun, welcome in. What's up with you, my friend? How you doing today? Welcome to the stream. We just uh, built a moon pool in this uh, in this area over here. That's what I've been up to so far. Trying to build a base so that we can get some materials down here where there are a lot of them. Vital signs stabilizing. A lot of them, frankly. Although I'm trying not to die either from heat. How's the schedule next week? I have to leave soon. Uh, schedule's gonna be the same as, as this week. Yeah, for at least one more week, we're gonna do uh, Stardew Monday, Subnautica uh, Tuesday through Friday. That's the plan. Wait, why, did I, why am I going back to the moon pool? This is my first time playing? It is, it is. It, it sure is. Is it that obvious? <laughs> Can you tell? I don't know why the my that's pretty gross looking. It's like straight out of a horror movie. Like I gotta get that figured out. Actually, it's not been an issue lately. Um, actually, let's not go in here. Let's go. Let's go get some air or air. Let's go get some bladder fish. Are you an expert on this uh, game, Black Noun? I've had several people stop in and, and give me some really helpful tips and stuff. Uh, it's been nice getting to know the maximum depth reached. Yep, lost track of my death meter there for a second. It's been nice getting to know people um, from this game because uh, there's such a dedicated community around it still. Really dedicated community. Mm, maybe there aren't that many bladder fish down here. I saw a couple, but it's not a lot. So maybe I'll just go ahead and drink a couple of these waters. Vital signs stabilizing. Yes, sir, 100% on everything? Dang. You're extra legit, then. Extra legit. I am not that legit. <laughs> not quite. Uh, in just a sec here, friends. 
Okay. I'm trying to fix that. That's really bothering me. Okay. Should be all right. Hopefully. Oh, what's going on, Covert? My man? Raid! Cheers to you, Covert. Uh, everybody, welcome in. How you guys doing today? Jay, Mr. Murdoch, Bo Bojack Games, welcome in, everybody. How you guys doing? Cheers, and thank you so much for the raid, Covert. Covert, I saw you were playing Greedfall, right? How was Greedfall today? How was Greedfall? Um, I'm doing pretty good, Mr. Murdoch. Thanks for asking. How about you? Oh, you beat Greedfall? Just finished it? As in, like, like beat it, right? Oh, don't kill one of these rays. I'm trying my best not to kill the ray. Wow, impressive, man. How was it? Was, was the ending satisfying to you? I've never been this way, so I'm kind of exploring just a little bit. Doing good, I won't stay long as I have to do some stuff for YouTube. No worries, Mr. Murdoch. Appreciate you coming by with the raid. 100% satisfied with the ending. That's good to hear. That's really good to hear. But you know what I haven't done in a really long time? Is save. <laughs> Need to get on that. Oh, Shay. Three months of a sub? Holy crap. Whoop, whoop, three months. Shay, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate you. And uh, keep enjoying those emotes, you know? Cheers to you. I'm now, I ran dry now, but. <laughs> I got to keep a real close eye on my depth meter. I don't want to get distracted again and, and just go straight down. Man, these rays are really dancy today. I won't give any spoilers, but some really interesting stuff I didn't expect at the start. Okay. But that's good, though, that it was still satisfying. Because a lot of times, if you get those, like, super unexpected things at the end of a game, they sometimes you're kind of like, really? You know? Well, that's good that you enjoyed it. I'm going to try to catch a few bladder fish while I'm down here. Oh, there are more bladder fish down here. Okay, maybe I should have built my base down here. A prawn base. I like having bladder fish where I, uh, where I sleep. Because, uh, you know, I mean, they're made up of water. It's, you know, they just, they keep me alive. All right. Man, how freaking deep does this cave go? We're past a thousand meters. That's officially the deepest I've ever been in the game. It's pretty, pretty. Oh, 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 oh. Did it, was it the water that I touched, or was it just this area in general? I guess we're gonna find out. Hang on. Yeah, it's just past the waterfalls. Okay. But if I go up higher, let's kind of test this out. Very deep. Yeah, no kidding. Could you imagine being a kilometer below sea level? Yeah, it's just past these waterfalls. There's nothing I can do. Okay, so we found a wall. We found a wall. I mean, I could explore it if I really wanted to just keep eating med kits, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, do I plan on making my base in the Lost River? I Yeah, I was going to, just since there are a lot of minerals down here. A lot of different uh, buildable items can be made down here, you know? Because the heat, the blue brine is safe. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so I guess I gotta, I gotta upgrade my prawn suit so I can go over here. Man, what's going on with these rays? They're really like spinning all around today. I hope they're doing okay. Okay, I. I assume that's you heading out, Mr. Murdoch. <laughs> totally cool. If so, appreciate having you stop by with the raid. I'll be off. Enjoy the stream and see you later. Thanks for hanging out, Mr. Murdoch. Seriously.
It's a rave. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Where's my bottom? <laughs> it's a good one, though. Might also find a useful blueprint against the heat. I bet. I bet. Did I bring my... I brought my Seamoth, and I totally left it. See, this is me getting distracted. Easily distractible. <laughs> it's a rave. <laughs> Oh, man. How did I leave my sea moth? I'm such a dummy. Did I really think that I swam over here? No. Yeah, I might have to build a little bit deeper um, and just leave the sea moth docked up there in a moon pool and then maybe bring the prawn down here. I think that's what I'm thinking. Nothing else that made you giggle? Oh, of course. Dad jokes are... Right up my alley. I'm not a dad. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm a dog dad. That's about it, but... Um, you know, maybe one day. <laughs> maybe one day. And I'll be, uh, I'll be totally ready for that. Oh, poor Ray. It's all infected. <laughs> that counts. We'll mostly be lurking as I, it's busy at work. Oh, no worries, Jay. No worries. Gotta go, Magoots. Take care and have a great weekend. Extreme, you too. Thanks for hanging out with us. Giving us the kind pointers that you're known for doing. Hope you have an amazing weekend. And uh, maybe we'll see you next week. Man, it gets really bright over by this tree. All right, so I brought... What else did I bring? I brought enough for a couple power transmitters, but I didn't need the second one. I have enough for a fabricator, which I put together. Um, Was there something else I brought stuff for? A beacon. I need to make a beacon. That way I can find this area again. Although I don't... I don't think it'll be too bad. Where's the invite my dog on stream option in the channel points? Oh, gosh. I could do that. Um, the issue is my dog is, uh, well, it depends on which dog, but if it's my Doberman, especially, I'm pretty sure she would like knock over my green screen and like destroy everything. Um, I don't know if it's all Dobermans. I think it's a uh, most Dobermans, uh, but mine I can tell you in particular is, uh, full of vigor. She's like nine years old, uh, but she does everything at 100% effort. Literally everything at 100% effort. There's nothing she doesn't do. Like, she has one speed and it's really freaking fast. You know what I mean? Um, and she's, like I said, she's old too. She's a senior dog. She's nine, um, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to her. She says, I don't freaking care. Um, I do what I want. <laughs> 100,000 points, well worth it. Man, what is my mod for today? Is that 50,000? So that'd be even more than that. <laughs> they sound lovely, though. She is, she's a great dog. It's just, uh, you know, a little bit tricky for things like that. That's all. All right. Let's edit the beacon's name. This is going to be... Um, Lost River Base. Okay. All right. Um, what else did I was I gonna build? Uh, the multi-purpose room, but it's looking a little bit unstable. I don't have enough stuff for reinforcements. I think that was it, though, wasn't it? No, I got. I brought some. Oh no, no, no! That is it. That is literally it, right? I don't think there's anything else in the sea moth. One titanium. Okay. No Casa de Spanksville. <laughs> I'd run out of names for all these. Depending, I mean, I've I've got two right now. So, but how many bases should I make? Hmm, 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 hmm. 
re-equip this guy here, Habitat Builder. I don't think there was anything else that I had planned on making, but, I mean, I could make something. Could make something if I felt like I needed it. I could make a wall locker. I could come in handy. 46. Wait, 46? What's 46? Water maker? Uh, I don't know if I have enough for that. Copper wire and aerogel? Uh, well, I could. Did I bring copper? Oh, I had to use my copper. Okay. But if I could find copper down here. 46 bases? Oh, geez. That would be impressive. Impressive. So I could build a wall locker pretty easily. Um, yeah, I don't know if I should build a multi-purpose room just yet until I can bring some lithium down for reinforcement. I don't know. I don't know what the best thing to do is. There's, there's a decent amount of ruby down here, though. So, I mean, we can make aerogel. Um, you know, there's a good number of things we can make, which is good. Um, table coral. We just got to burn myself to get it a little bit, but it's doable. You got the arms for my prawn? I haven't. No. Uh, you're talking like the torpedo arms or like drill arms? I don't even have... I can make torpedo arms, um, but that's like the only arm that I can actually craft. Unfortunately. Gosh, these... These guys are all over the place. Yeah, it's some ruby... Mm-hmm. Reggies. Good amount of reggies. Wouldn't, that's why it would be kind of nice to make an alien containment as well. Drill and grapple for the win, yeah. Yeah, I know. I don't have any of those. I don't have any of those uh, fragments. Like none. So I got to find I got to do some more exploring in this area. That's what you guys were saying, right? I really haven't explored this area too much. Um, so maybe that's just what I got to do. Let me equip. Uh, no, 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 not not in place of the thermal blade. Keep the sea glide equipped. Let's put stasis rifle there. Okay. You need to go find them up top. Look around the blood kelp zone some more. Okay. Blood kelp. All right. Let's play the hot and cold game with the blood kelp. Can I give you a clue? Sure. I trust you. I trust that your clue is going to be cluey without being spoilery. A radio broadcast? No way. It's been 84 years since the last radio broadcast. Terrain scans indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic... I haven't been in here. Remains. How did I miss this? I have never been in here before. Saving! Best things tend to be guarded by leviathans. Yeah, I believe that. Okay, that makes total sense. Um, what about giant rib cages? Did you figure out who the voice was on the radio yet? No, not yet. Good general rule for the game. That makes perfect sense, though, Covert. Yeah, uh, Thice, I haven't figured that out yet. Um, those are some interesting looking kind of phallic e stalactites stalagmites which one is top and which one's bottom do you guys remember you can scan these bones okay let me scan them i'm gonna try not to get eaten by an eel one of these uh long boys here it's not an eel i know that but i might have already scanned some yeah yeah i think i did uh, I didn't scan these in particular, but I scanned some other bones. I suppose it... Oh, the skull. Think about the last facility you were in. You already got the answer. Okay. Uh, I do want to go back there. Hopefully I can find my way back. Because I need to get into that... Um, I need to get one of the green tablets. So I can uh, open that... Barrier door thing.
It's just unreal how expansive this is. I don't want to spoil it right away, though. Oh, the skull? Yeah, I did scan the skull, uh, Black Noun, the one by my base. I did scan that. And it told me it was like a dragon something, I think. Okay. Oh, what's this? Is this a resource? Quartz. Okay. Need to be on the lookout for nickel, because I haven't found a whole lot of nickel yet. I found uh, one piece of ore so far. Look at this. There's some resources here, though. Is this blood kelp? No, it's a different one. Wait. Oh, a different skull? There's another skull over here? Did I totally just not see it? I assumed it would be a humongous skull. These are ribs, right? Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it's over there. I see it now. Okay. Found it. Um. Nikhail <laughs> tends to blend in with its surroundings. Yeah, it was just a little bit dim over here. I didn't see it. I saw that. Don't get me wrong. I saw the massive, uh, you know, ribs. So. The Gargantuan Leviathan, it's being modded in. Yeah, I heard that it's not actually in the game. I'd heard that. Let's get this scan in. It lights up the entire screen. Gargantuan Fossil. I'm going to get that up on the PDA. Now I'm going to read it from inside the Seamoth. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Fossilized remains of an extinct super predator. Yeah, no kidding. Its sheer size would have prohibited it from entering such an enclosed space, suggesting the geography of the planet has shifted around it over time. A true apex predator. Dated approximately 3 million years old, ribcage measurements suggest the creature was eel-like in structure. Calculations, calculations suggest this is only the front third of the specimen. The remains now support a vibrant microcosm of life. Note, there are three a series of, a, of precise angular indentations on the ribcage Getting a little close for comfort. Hang on, let me read that back a little bit. Creature itself is a mile long. Uh, Blood Cup is the area where you had trouble getting up with the prawn suit right outside the greenish area. Okay. Yeah, I saw the I saw the glowy bits on there, and I was like, is this Blood Kelp? <laughs> they were orange, so. Um, angular indentation on the ribcage suggesting a third party has taken samples from the specimen at a previous time. The ribcage you're seeing right now is a baby, or I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I read that out loud, but creature is, itself is a mile long. Pretty ridiculous. Pretty terrifying. Can I go inside its skull? Would that save me from a ghosty boy? I don't know if the ghosty boy could go in there. Okay. Let's get another save in. I'm telling you guys, I'm not losing my Seamoth. I'm not doing it. I'm not willing. I know that makes me a little bit of a, you know, kind of newbie, but. Okay, did I just juke out the, the ghost? A little close. Yep, little close. Okay, whoo. All right, um, well, do I need to look around that area more? Would you guys recommend that I look around more before I leave? Uh, it's being modded to scale. Oh, geez. That, that's going to be interesting, wouldn't you say? Trying to add that guy in. Oh, what's this? Another one? Don't think there's much else here. Okay. This is dead, right? Uh... I mean, its eyes aren't glowing. So it's got to be dead, right? <laughs> it looks much more put together than the rest of them. That's why I'm a little bit concerned. Can I scan this? No, can't scan that. 
Glowy eyes equals no. Go give it a hug. Oh my gosh. Pretty sure I'm going to die if I see that thing in my game. Yeah, no kidding, right? Oh. Did the alien guys, did they like kill it right here with these tentacles? Hmm. This looks interesting. Panic save. Oh, 100%. 100%. Welcome back, Phil. Welcome back in. There's the crab squid. Anything else I need to know about down here? Oh, I haven't scanned this. Alien sensor. Research probes. Okay, hopefully the crab squid doesn't get me from here. Um, prominence in facing these alien devices suggests they are some kind of probe or sensor. Their subject would seem to be the vast skeleton in the center of the cavern. The attached cable network may lead to a remote power station or data hub. True. Assessment, investigate. I will. Actually, what part was that in? It's in scan data. Okay. Um, the crab squid sees me. Son of a gun. At least I think it does. Maybe it doesn't. Ancient skeleton. Try to keep moving a little bit here. Uh, ancient fossilized skeleton. Hmm. Where'd it go? I guess it's under... Yeah, here it is. Okay. Skeleton of a million-year-old armored carnivore. Projections suggest this life form could would have been larger than any living creature encountered on the planet. Bigger than that other one? The oceans of the time would have been very different to support life forms of this size with more open geography and many more individuals in the Leviathan range. Wow. Gotta go. Goodbye. Thanks for hanging out with us today, Black Noun. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Okay, scan that. Um, where'd the crab squid go? Oh, there he is. Found him. Found him. Okay, so I could follow these cables, in theory, to something. Looks like another... Oh! Oh, is this the area that I need the green tablet for? I'm on the other side now? I think I am. Surprise, motherfucker! Yep, I think I need the green tablet, huh? Oh, an orange tablet. I have one of those. This is not the same area. Holy crap. Okay, um... We're about 1,100 meters south... Southwest... Of my Lost River Base beacon. South-southwest of the Lost River Base beacon. I don't have a beacon in my inventory, no. Nope, I've been trying to make mental beacons, which is a pretty terrible idea. Pretty terrible idea. Man. I almost brought the orange tablet. I almost did it. I was so close, but I was like, oh, I need every piece of inventory space. I need every piece, and then I didn't do it. South southwest of the Lost River Beacon. Okay. All right. We can get back there. You can also write down the coordinates. That's true. That's true. The other good thing, too, about streaming it is you can always go back and look at the VOD. Kind of cheating, but, you know, <laughs> that's kind of the... That's one of the benefits of, of streaming your game, you know, or recording it in some way or another. Okay, I think I came out. Did I come out of here this way before? I thought I remember a bunch of these like glowy balls when I was leaving on the prawn suit. Yeah, and some warp daddies. Yeah. Oh, look, that's a really fast moving crab squid. Man, you okay, bro? You good, bro? All right. Is this 
This is not the blood kelp zone. I came in through the blood kelp zone, right? So this is a different zone. You're on time. Oh, son of a gun. I'm running low on time. Oh, did I explore this thing? I did, right? Did I? No, I was in here. This is one of the Degazi habitats, right? Is it, though? I don't remember warpers being in this area. But then again, I could have sworn I had my prawn suit here. It's where I got the orange tablet. Okay. So I did explore this. Yeah. All right. And the cute egg. Oh, man. Such a cute egg. It's the Degazi. Okay. For some reason, I just didn't remember there being so many uh, warpers in the area. Did not recall. Okay. Let me see if I can get out of here. Direction maybe towards this way. I think so far my favorite um, place in the game was the Jelly Shroom Cave. I think that's been my favorite. Oh, there you are, Crab Squid. Let me use this on him. Get wrecked. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get totally freaking destroyed, nerd. Distracted by a crab squid? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Is this... I just made a big circle, didn't I? Well, okay. <laughs> you beat the crap out of it last time. Hmm. It doesn't seem like there's an exit over here. Okay. I think I can get out of here. <laughs> Person behind his PC playing the crab squid right now. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Oh, I'm not a nerd. I'm not a nerd. All right, we found an exit. I'm glad there are multiple entrances and exits. Sort of. Another warper in the area. Okay. Now, let me get my bearings about me here. Okay. So I'm pretty much directly above. Pretty dang close uh, to being directly above. Wreckage is here too? Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. I think I, I, think I scanned, uh, I don't know about multiple wreckages, but I definitely scanned at least one wreckage near these glowing balls absolutely i think it was over here Oop! sorry about that fish uh i don't remember exactly where it was but i remember a bunch of glowing balls am i heading i'm heading away from my orange tablet hmm that's not a wreckage. Okay. What's this? What is that? Hmm. Okay. Got some of the membrane trees. Yeah, I was down here. I was down here, right? Scan it. Yeah, I'm trying not to get warped anywhere, but I, I will. I will. Let me, let me get this scan. Is it going to suck me in? It's going to suck me in, isn't it? <laughs> I better scan. I better say before I start scanning this. Alien vent. Welcome aboard, Captain. Connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. Infill vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it into an unknown location before, below the surface. Warm, deoxygenated water is being expelled in the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Assessment. Further research required. Okay, let's research this. <laughs> let's freaking research it. How do I make myself small as a peeper? 
Will my camera the owner my camera drone probably isn't gonna fit in there, will it? I mean I could try that, I guess. Oh, was that a ghosty boy? Was this a ghosty boy over here? Or was that some sort of glitch? Oh no, it's right there. Found it. Hey, there it is. I found it. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna have quite enough time, but I'm gonna start heading back towards uh, Spank Daddy. I don't wanna, I, I don't wanna miss any wreckages here, but at the same time, um, I gotta get to work. Ugh. So I can always come back. Yeah, and that's the that's the benefit of having the VOD, you know. Makes it a little bit easier for me to find things. Oh, I can kind of get my bearings. Sounds pretty spooky for just being 180 meters deep. And this isn't just normal darkness. This is advanced darkness. Oh, am I going right at a cliff? I think so. Oh, you know what might happen too? I might be on the other side of my... Oh, hang on a second. What was this? Oh, uh, hmm. We just need to get you a partner so you can play all day. <laughs> That would be nice. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I could do this instead of going to work. I wouldn't be upset. But that way, I wouldn't I wouldn't be too upset. <laughs> 12 hour streams. Oh, my gosh. I don't know that I do that regularly. I don't know. I've been impressed, like how people can sit um, in front of their computers for that long without ever taking a pee break. You know, 24 hour stream win. Oh, geez. I don't I don't even know that would wreck me for a few days afterwards. The longest stream I've ever done was like just over seven hours, I believe. Um. And I was tired. I'm telling you, tired afterwards. Now, granted, it was because it went to like two in the morning, you know. Uh, but yeah, actually, hang on a second. No, it probably went later than that, even. Um, subathon. Wait, what's a subathon? When he gets hooked on Valheim. Oh gosh, it's coming. It, I it's. It's coming. Um, I just don't know when. I was considering switching to that game after we we complete Subnautica. What do you think about that, Covert? Pullman was saying that seemed like a good idea. He said he's been really enjoying it. I've I've had a lot of people um, say they really enjoy it. So, With some subs it means one more hour of streaming, and the ads hours add up the more people sub. Oh my gosh, an hour. Oh, geez. So what if somebody just decides to be, like, ridiculously generous and donates, like, 10 subs? Are you committed to a 10-hour stream, then? For every sub, you stream for an extra half hour. So half hour would be, obviously, a, a huge difference. Half the time, but... <clears throat> 50 gift subs. Oh, yeah, you'd be done. Like, I mean, I don't know. That'd be tough to commit to just in case somebody decided to be super generous, but a friend of mine did 40 hours long stream in a subathon. Holy crap. That's impressive. And hats off to them. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I could give up 40 hours, unfortunately. Like, I'd. I have some other responsibilities like work and then uh, coaching. I feel like I'd let people down if I didn't do it the whole time, you know? I could put a max on it, I suppose. You're like, all right, this is either a 
Subathon, or it's going to be a, you know, up to 30 hours. I don't know, something like that. Great idea for the next game. Someone as if we couldn't, we wouldn't, <clears throat> as if we wouldn't all get in on it. Oh, jeez. Why does my character seem slower lately? He seems slower. I'm not sure what's going on. All right. Here we go. Um, oh, what is this? Just a glowy thing. Creep vines. Oh, that's the creep vine it dropped. Okay. I'm glad it didn't go totally away, I guess. Um, I was going to try to get a peeper or two. Just so I don't die of hunger and thirst. Um, but when I was walking in my base there for a second, I felt much slower than I normally do. I don't know what's up with that. These peepers are a lot further away than I thought they were. Yeah, they're swimming away from me. Is there something wrong? Like, I'm not catching them like I usually do. I don't know what's going on. All right, let's get into Spank Daddy. I'm running, echo running out of time right now, and I wish I wasn't, but... I would like to save on Spank Daddy. That way I can just go ahead and get some marble melons right at the beginning of uh, next stream so I don't die of thirst immediately. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I can't even... It's like I can't catch these guys right now. Normally I feel like I can. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Oh, and the radio. Okay, hang on. We're going to do that. I'm curious now. Real clear. Message coming in loud and clear. All right, my friends, uh, let's we're going to have to meet directly in the tavern this time. All right. Cheers to you all for hanging out with me today. Uh, let me get these credits rolling. I've unfortunately I got a meeting starting in like six minutes, so I don't have much time to hang out, unfortunately. But I do want to give uh, a couple shouts outs. Shouts out. I always say that weird. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. It's been another great week of streams. Been super enjoying my time in Subnautica. It's just unreal. Um, Nostalius, thank you so much for the cheers again, my man. You're just absolutely insane. Um, we had Lootspot Goots on the mod duty. We had a sub from ShayK47, three months. Appreciate you so much. Um, and then Covert Cell dropping the raid, bringing in his lovely community. Thank you so much, man, for seriously been, been amazing hanging out with you and, and getting to meet you over the last couple weeks. Really enjoy it. Build a Potato, thanks for hanging out. And I you ready? Welcome back. Another good stream. I appreciate that. I really do. And thanks for hanging out with us today. So cheers to you all. Um, I just realized this is empty, so uh, we'll give you the travel bottle. Uh, cheers right here. So cheers. You have a good day too, Thy Spike Vice. Um, friends, we'll be back again next week. Uh, we got same schedule for at least one more week. We'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know how far away I am from beating Subnautica. I think I still have a decent amount of time left, but um, we'll have starting Monday, Subnautica the rest of the week, Tuesday through Friday. So. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I will catch you next week. Until then, take care. And bye.